Welcome back to yet another Star Stable video. As always, please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, as it truly does make my day. And I put out new Star Stable videos every single day. Today, I have some very exciting- I didn't even know about some of these. Like, I was like, what the heck? But today, I have some very exciting hidden slash secret hotkeys you might have not known about, or you just didn't read how to play, like, the game and they updated and stuff like that, which I don't think anyone- okay, anyways, but- Let's just get right into the video then, as these are really exciting. I've come up like five that I never even knew existed. Well, some, but like, okay, let's just get right into the video. Let me know any other hotkeys you know in the comments down below and let's go. This first one I was even surprised by and I'm surprised that I didn't know about it but basically it can be super annoying when you decide to do a special move whether it be on accident or on purpose and it takes so long. I mean look at this laying down move that the Yorvik Wild Horse has. It takes definitely a little bit until the special move is over and completed. Basically how to exit out of a special move if that makes sense is while you are doing the special move click O or the little camera button any way you want to get to the camera take a picture tab and then you can walk forward and your horse will automatically go out of the special move so you can go back to playing the game and it's really helpful especially when you accidentally click the space bar and your horse is like not moving or anything that you could just get out of a special move really really quickly and easily this next hotkey that I think is really really useful is basically more ways to crowd. Many people know that in Star Stable you can press the control command and you can crouch. The control key, not the control command. And basically how you want to crouch is that you can either press control or you can actually press Z the QZ, or you can press Alt and GR, and this will all make your star stable character crouch, so if one day one of those keys breaks, you always have a different option on how to crouch in star stable, so this is really helpful, and it's just fun to know more hotkeys that you can use when playing star stable altogether. This next hotkey control, I'm sure a lot of you already know, but in case you don't know what or how to like change your horses, look really quickly, there are two ways you can do this. Either you press the control command C and the hotkey C and that'll bring up your character sheet or however you want to get to your character sheet and there is this little button right next to the magical horse symbol where you can change your horse from magical to non-magical really quickly and really easily. Another way and quicker way that you can do this actually is by by just simply clicking the H key on your keyboard. This is really useful in case you want like cool shots of your horse changing out the C little um, control panel up for your horse and it just makes it really easy to go ahead and change your horse from its normal coat to its magical coat with just the simple click of a button. This next hotkey is definitely a lifesaver that I would recommend keeping track of. This is really, really helpful in case you want to compare stats and know, like, if you're in a championship, if you have good stats compared to everyone else, or if you might not have so good stats. So basically what this hotkey does is it shows your current, like, clothing item compared to another player's clothing item, and this is super helpful. You can also do this comparing it to your own inventory to know what, like, an item's stats are and if if you want to wear it or if you don't. How you do this is you just click shift and hold shift for the duration of how long you want to see the other player's stats or your own stats and this will compare the two items that you want and this makes it really easy to see the stats side by side to know if you have good or bad stats. I usually like to do this trick before a championship to know what everyone else around me's stats are and if I should go and get a different outfit or if my current one is good enough. But yes, you just hold shift key and that will show the or whatever you want compared stats and yeah this is super duper helpful
This next one I definitely use quite a lot, not gonna lie, but is say you're in the middle of a race and we've all been there where something comes up and you're like halfway through or something like that, you don't want to end the race, but you want to pause it, like pause in quotation marks, and come back to it at a later time. All you want to do is press either the camera key in the top right or the O key on your keyboard. What this does is it brings up the camera and you can stay on the screen for as long as you want. This will just look like this as I have it on my screen right now and it acts as kind of like the pause button for races. Once you get out of it though, of course the time that you spent paused will add to your overall score so this is not the best trick if you're trying to get like highest score or anything like that but just in case you're training and you don't want to like keep resourcing starting the race or something like that and you have to go or do something in the middle of a race it is definitely helpful This next hotkey is how you get your pet out of your saddlebag and on the floor. Bear in mind that this only walks with walking, running, or flying pets, and if you just have like a stationary bear or something, it is not going to work on that object. So basically, this hotkey is you just want to press P on your keyboard, and this will make the pet either fly next to you, go back in your saddlebag, or walk slash run on the floor, or go back in your saddlebag. Bag. If it is already in your saddlebag, it will go on the floor and vice versa. This is just really nice to bear in mind in case you want your animal on the run, on the go, and stuff like that. So yeah, those are all the hotkeys I have today. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this Star Stable video. I hope you enjoyed and let me know if you have any other hotkeys that you know about that I might have not mentioned in this video in the comments down below. I will be sure to reply to as many as possible. And of course, please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already as I put out new Star Stable videos every single day. Bye bye! Doo -doo -doo.